Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. This is a draw with me, paint with me, I don't know. Um, I've been seeing a lot of Robins as of late and mm, do I have a style? This comes up quite often. I question my style, I question my, um, my whole like vibe. Well, no, that's not true. I have a vibe, like, you can tell pieces are mine. Um, I definitely have a style. But um, what brings me inspiration is really <clears throat> like seat of your pants kind of thing. <laughs> I'm just being honest. But um, there are recurring themes, of course. Um, I tend to do f a lot of flowers. Uh, I have been known to draw quite a bit of... Um, birds and this season um, I've been paying a lot of attention to birds because number one uh, where we're living currently uh, there's a whole backyard full of amazing robins and um, some cardinals um, I we see the occasional like weekend blue jay <laughs> um, and there's also like a Oh my God, what is it called? Uh, a woodchuck. A woodchuck or a groundhog? Anyways, there's a big marmot in the back and um, we see him sometimes. It's just a really fun place to live. We also had the cherry blossoms or um, in April. So it's just like a really cute nature-y place. Um, it's the same town. We're in the same town, just, you know, different, different fauna. I don't know what's going on. Um, my friend Shanice from the Sleepless Page sent me these pencils. Um, we do this often. Uh, we like sending each other happy mail. And if we happen to fall in love or find something that we enjoy, we send each other things. Um, I, for the most part, I'm pretty loyal to my vermilion and Par Parisian blue um, Mitsubishi pencil. I use that pretty much all the time. I all, well, I use that and my um, rainbow pencil. But this thing I'm using right now, it's called a Zebra Zensations. It says it's a zero 06. I'm not sure if the zero 06 pertains to the color or to the size. Um, oh, it's actually the color because I'm looking at the other one I have. She sent me a couple. Um, and yeah, the lilac color has a number 13 on it. So I think it's it has to do with... Um, anyways, they're really cool because they're mechanical and they're, they're pretty thick. Um, I don't know. I don't know thicknesses, but anyways, uh, it's nice. It's a, it's like, um, here's the rainbow pencil, um, that I love to use. I'm, I'm giving everything a chance. I'm just, you know, filling up this page, seeing where it takes me. I knew that I wanted to do a lot of Robins really loosely. I've been seeing them all over the place. Like they're my, they're my happy little like companions this season. And um, I talk to them when I take the kids out to the bus. And uh, actually, just yesterday, we noticed uh, a bit of um, blue eggshells outside under the cherry blossom. And so we looked up and, yep, there's a little nest. We didn't see anything in the nest, but clearly something has hatched. I hope. Oh, my God. Who knows? Anyways. This little fun guy, um, he came from Instagram or Pinterest or something. It was like a pencil drawing. And I thought, oh, my God, he's too cute to pass up. So I gave him my own little spin. And uh, we'll be painting him in in a little bit. I know that I've been naughty. Not naughty. I'm exploring. I'm going through an exploration. And this is just how it is. Um... Some of my sketchbook art is left at different stages of uh, what other people might 
deem complete. Sometimes the piece just feels complete just doing the pencil um, or a bit of ink. Uh, I'm not pushing myself to like overdo th overdo them. Like sometimes things can just, oh, there's a bit of hair. There's going to be a bit of hair while we do the this little guy because um, it's a close up and, you know, it's a much smaller um, drawing. So, yeah, I got to get in there. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so uh, I'm going to stop judging. And it's not that I'm judging. I'm not judging. Am I judging it? No. What I'm doing is I am projecting that you're judging my art for um, me choosing not to quote unquote finish it or add another layer of media to it. Uh, but then there are other pieces that I want to go, you know, really crazy. Sometimes it just has to do with time. Sometimes it has to do with legitimately me feeling like it's done or, you know, that I don't want to overwork it. Um, it's raining. Can you hear the thunder? Uh, so yeah, I really liked how I went back and forth on this page. Like I did a, I did a bird and then I went back to the other side and then I did another bird in a different pencil here. I'm doing another Robin in the, um, rainbow pencil. And so, yeah, that shiny bit in the back is just like a laminated page. It's a laminated sign for... Uh, parent pickup from last year but since it's laminated and whatever uh, I just use it in between my pages when I'm drawing whether it's in my sketchbook or in my um, stology you know just to keep like the pages from getting uh, when because I do tend to be heavy-handed with watercolor so it's handy but it is shiny and annoying um, especially with the ring light like that sorry oops here's the watercolor okay so number one I've been disconnected from my watercolor pan a little bit you know size wise and it's just it's cumbersome to take it with me I've talked about this before like I need to spread out I like to spread out it's part of my OCD like I get somewhere and I have to take all my stuff out I like to see it all you know like options are important so bringing this with water and my little towel and all four of my brushes and I don't want them to get ruined in my pencil case. Like it's a whole thing. Do you hear me making all these excuses? So I got myself a couple of water brushes um, totally by accident. I found these at the Dollar Tree and um, I stuck one in. It fits right in the middle of the like literally of this can did I pull it out of there before I didn't even notice and then I have one like on my desk here in the room and then I also um well I'm jumping the gun but I just recently acquired another one with another set of colors that I got but anywho um so I'm trying to teach myself to use it's not that I don't know how to use a water brush I do but I'm trying to force myself. Do you see how the brushes are like literally sitting right there? <laughs> I'm trying to force myself to use the water brush and see if I can get comfortable enough where I wouldn't miss my entire setup that I could convince myself that I could survive like with a few colors and whatever. But it's even when I'm packing like my canvas bag, like I take my canvas bag everywhere, but I have to take my planner. I have to take my pencil case. And my pencil case is set up for um, like sketchbook work and for uh, planner stuff. So I've got all my, you know, so it's big, it's heavy. And then I've got my sketchbook that I also want to carry. <laughs> And so the list goes on and on and on. And I'm trying to not just be looser in my work. Do you see these like lines? Like I end up loving this page. I love this, how this these robins turn out. So much so that I'm thinking about doing like another study, maybe another bird or 
and maybe even robins like i've said this before um different mood different day you know you're <gasps> you know what would be cool pigeons ooh okay anyways moving on um so yeah so i'm just trying to train myself into condensing what i have what i feel like i have to carry with me these are all rules set my but my own brain my own ocd my own whatever um because sometimes i don't most times i don't even end up using anything um i'll barely touch my planner you know to check in or if like i need to make a note or something um but my sketchbook yeah I've been trying, though. I really have been. Especially in the summer it, with my new chair. I'm lowered to the ground. So I feel like um, I can spread out. And I just keep trying, guys. Because uh, my room is dark. And so... Not really conducive to painting. Not really conducive to art making. Like, I, I get a lot of... Um, this done like voiceovers or recording uh, ideas research that type of stuff gets done here but I feel like I would do more if I could just be looser I don't know we're trying we're trying guys another thing that I'm going to complain to you guys about the reds in my palette Urgh, they irk me so bad I need a better either a better red watercolor because um i think i don't know if, I'm, I'm sure i've mentioned it somewhere along the line but i pulled out a couple of the jane davenport reds um and exchanged it for the windsor and newton so one of these is not like the others <laughs> also i might actually I think that bottom, like this, I don't know how to describe it. Anyways, one of the two of these, the yellow that looks a little less full than the others, that's a gouache. And then there's also a red gouache. But the thing is, it's not red, red. It's more like pink. I just need a solid, like good, solid red. Um, so if you have any ideas, maybe like a Windsor and Newton. I don't know what I'm going to do. Anyways, um... So yeah, because I love my blues. I have, I have like, I know which colors I use constantly and I know which ones I have in here just for, you know, the sake of having them. Um, uh, do people carry their whole like 48 tins of, I have 48 colors in here. Do people really carry these things around? But I also would, prefer it all in one tin as opposed to having like these are three different uh, Jane Davenport tins plus you know a few extras that I've changed along the way but I wouldn't want to carry three cans either mm, decisions decisions this is why I just like it's overwhelming to even think about it for me which is why I just leave it alone it takes me forever to make a decision Anyways, are you enjoying the little robins? I do. And the back and forth. See, what I'm doing here is um, I have to give time for everything to dry because I'm working real time without a dryer these days, without my heat tool. It's in storage. So um, although the Strathmore mixed media paper does absorb water a lot faster than, say, your Tomoe River paper or your Sology stuff, um, I still have to give it a minute to dry. Plus, I'm, um, you know, we've said this before, I'm a little heavy handed with water. So um, working like this in little vignettes where each bird, it's its own. Also, you can see like we've gone through each color, um, you know, as layers throughout the whole thing. And then jumping over to the little mushroom guy on the other side. Um, that's. I think all in all, this footage took about an hour. I think this, yeah, this spread took about an hour. And then um, we've condensed it down to like, what, 27 minutes. The footage is also moving at, I think it's like double speed. Um, I mean, literally, we would be here forever. You guys get the point, right? Like, this is good. 
<laughs> is this good? Thumbs up. To say, yes, it's good. Um, yeah, see right here, when the red, obviously, is still wet, it looks nice and saturated. I want something that will dry in this saturation. And I've done this before where it I just don't achieve the red that I want with watercolor. So I end up coming back in with um, acrylic. But my acrylic is in storage. So we do what we can with what we have. Uh, I did buy a white acrylic paint from Walmart recently. Was it Walmart or Michaels? I don't know. Something like that. Um, cause I tried the one from Dollar Tree and it was legit garbage. Uh, it didn't like the acrylic was not, um, opaque enough. So, um, I got a little tube from, I want to say Walmart. Uh, and then now I've been thinking, well, I have this issue with red, but I don't want to carry around a tube of like acrylic red paint with me either. Um, it's going to have to be, it has to be something that I can reconstitute like watercolor or gouache. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've seen other artists like, you know, put little half pans of their gouache in there and I don't pull for my gouache as often. Not that I have a lot anyways, but what I do have <laughs> is um a nice yellow i think it's um oh that funky yellow name gamboge yellow and oh that's fun i left the chipmunk like soundtrack in here uh we're not gonna fix that i'm just gonna talk right over it and we're gonna pretend like it's not happening um clearly at some point, I just put the water brush down and <laughs> started using the my other brushes. You know what I wish? Maybe I wish that do water color do those water brushes come in bigger sizes? Because we all know that my preferred um, round brush is that twelve. So that's th that's the thing is that I need a bigger brush. Um, and then maybe, but even my travel brushes, I gotta be honest with you. I don't love them as much. What if I just broke my brushes? I don't know what I'm going to do. I sound crazy. No, I sound, I sound like a person on a mission <laughs> to get her summer toolbox ready or her, um, like, you know, uh what is it traveling artist toolbox that's what i'm working on I just want my pencil case to make sense all right so i follow an artist on instagram i can't remember his name right now nor am i going to go exploring for it but he does something with um artificial intelligence like art making and i know it's you know controversial and da, da 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 but here's the thing I don't care I find the images really fun and funny because um what he usually does is he the or the artificial intelligence does is it creates these images of like these um uh elderly people like senior citizens but they're dressed up in these really cool funky outfits or, um, you know, like the colors are just like vibrant and crazy or, you know, anyways, it's just like a funky, funky, like aesthetic. So um, sometimes the colors and the shapes are so, you know, <clears throat> inspiring. They literally are inspiring. So uh, instead of me getting upset over whether or not um, AI is going to take over the world, instead, I just let the images that um, it shot out inspire me in my art. And so, um, again, my friend Shanice has uh, generously donated, she has coined the term grannies 
these grannies will be popping up in my sketchbook because I do find them quite fun. And um, I sh if you're uh, one of my close friends, uh, I share stories on my Instagram, secret stories, um, if you're a Patreon. And so uh, I share them often because they are a source of inspiration. And whether or not they make it into the sketchbook or whatever uh, is a whole nother story. But I do like being inspired. And... It's not anywhere near uh, Halloween, but I'm a big fan of Halloween. Um, maybe it was the fact that Mr. Panda, like, cut his finger, or I fainted from that experience, or I don't know what it is, but... Um, I've been, I've been really thinking about doing skeletons, and so you're going to see a little bit of that show up here in her hand when I eventually draw it out, because when I realize, like, how simple that could be, I was just like, ooh, I got, I got, no, what could I say, I got turned on by the <laughs> prospect of drawing skeletons and, like, bones and stuff, um, I don't know. I've I've had friends draw like, you know, hearts and guts and stuff. Like I've never really been one to go that way, but I don't know. Skeletons and skulls. I don't know. We're going to see. I uh, I I've got a I've got something loosely like forming in my head. Um <laughs> the ideas are never I'm never short on ideas. Like, it's always happening. Okay, so we're working on some hair. Um, I also, I didn't film it, but I did, like, pull off, like, a little dogwood flower right next to her in case you're, like, wondering what that spot is there. Um, I am going to break it to you, though. The video is about to end. <laughs> and Granny does not get colored in. Um, I was really, really happy with the birds. I was really, really happy with the little mushroom. Um, and then I just didn't know how, how or what to do because Granny is, what is um, very vibrantly dressed. And all of a sudden I felt like the color palette didn't match and so I left it after the inking now I'm inking with a Tambo Furunosuke um, soft tip which um, I use for both hand lettering and for a little mixed media situation um, I prefer the soft tip even with mixed media uh, sorry Shanice <laughs> She prefers the hard tip. Um, but yeah, this, uh, this uh, page, this spread still is one of my favorites. Uh, it's been a while since I worked in the sketchbook. I'll talk about that during uh, another time, what's going on in the sketchbook. But this video is a bit old, like the footage is a bit old, and I really wanted it to to be out there because I do love it um and we and and the page does eventually have like a happy ending like I did I do finally finish it one day <laughs> just not this day but then this video would be like an hour long even with the speeding up and all that stuff and who needs that nobody needs that nobody needs to spend an actual hour with me but if you do feel like you need some more time with me, uh, please make sure that you subscribe, like, that way I know whether or not you liked it, so, um, subscribe, because that would be nice, and the kind thing to do, uh, turn on the bell if you want to be notified, um, I don't have a schedule for video releases, I just kind of go by the mood, um, yeah. And if you're not already, make sure you're following me over on Instagram because that's really where I spend the most of my time. I try really hard to remember 
to talk to you guys over here on the community and um, all that stuff. But I do the Patreon uh, through Instagram. And uh, what can I say? That's just that's just where I am most of the time. Yeah, buddy. Oh, so satisfying. Um, that thing I keep doing with my arm, I keep having to like, you know, keep the phone on for so I can see. Do do do. Mine looks a lot more mm, bony. I want to say I don't know. I love her though. She's she's fantastic. I can't wait to do more. I can't wait to be her. Can I just grow up and be her? <laughs> um, yeah, so I said all the... I said everything I had to say. I don't have any music for you guys, so... Just gotta kind of wing it. Um... I am, can I just tell you, like, fast forward, uh, the Anna that's working on this page right now doesn't know because she's a little scared. She's still a little intimidated by the size of this journal, by uh, the 64 pages behind this one. <laughs> uh, but the Anna speaking to you now... Uh, is quite comfortable in the, in the sketchbook, has a much clearer plan, has um, developed uh, an affection for the journal, and also um, has figured out... Oh, I just love the way the sleeve came out. Like, um, Anyways, I love what I do. I really do. And... Uh, it might sound a little narcissistic, but I am my biggest fan. <laughs> uh, I try not to judge what I make. I try not to, um, you know, if it didn't come out the first time, either I'll try it again or I'll just leave it alone. But at least I tried, and that is the most important part. And I don't believe in ugly sketchbooks. I have one book where I do all the things so if it's good it's good and if it's bad it most likely get covered up but so far so good thank you so much for spending time with me and we're done guys bye love you subscribe